What's going on people? It's Greg with an Excel VBA tutorial video. Um, today we'll be going over the leading rows that contain a cell with the value of zero. All right, so let's start. Um, I got a data set of countries here, and um, what we're gonna do is go to Tools, Macro, Visual Basic Editor, to write some code, right click, Insert Module. All right. So we're gonna create our sub, right? We're gonna call this sub um, delete zeros. And first we're going to declare our variables. We're gonna have a variable count and a variable i. Um, what count is gonna be is the total number of rows at any given time. In order to get that, we're gonna use this line of code. So what this line of code does is Excel will start in column A, as you can see here, and it'll start at the very bottom and continue to go up and up and up and up and up until it finds a non-blank cell. And in this case, it would be cell 232. And that would that's what our count's gonna be. Our count's gonna be equal to 232. And um, in order to test this, I usually like to use message boxes. Um, it's obviously optional and um, it'll show up as your code runs the count at any particular time um, I'm gonna count comment it out here but if you want to use it you can just go ahead and take away that symbol there and you see it's green because it's a comment at this point so now we're gonna say I is gonna be equal to let's see where does the data actually start um, the data starts here at 6 so we're gonna say I is equal to 6 but you can start at 1 if you want to um, and I'm gonna have a do while loop so while i is less than the count, so while less than or equal to the count, so while i, which is six, is less than or equal to 232, it's gonna be inside of this loop. So I'm gonna have an if statement here. So this if statement, it has almost like coordinates, right? Where the first parameter is gonna be vertical, the second one's gonna be horizontal. So here we have i is six, so the first one's vertical, so it's gonna be six down, and then the one's gonna be over to the right. So let's say we want column G, find any zeros in column G. So G is the seventh letter, so we're gonna say seven. That's gonna be fixed, so six is i, which is right here and then over seven which is right here. We're gonna start here and just iterate down so we get to the bottom of the data set. So if that particular cell equals zero, then we're going to delete that entire row. And our if. And we're gonna iterate our i by one just to get into our loop, to get out of our loop. Only problem is that if we have a double zero, so say right here, after this gets deleted, you see it's at row 26 at this point. When this gets deleted, row tw seven will be row 27 will become row 26. And because i is i plus one here, we'll miss it. So in order to combat that, we're gonna have an i is equal to i minus one here whenever we have a hit that'll prevent that from happening another issue we'll come across is when we as we're deleting rows this data set gets smaller and smaller so this 232 won't be right so be in order to prevent getting caught in infinite loop we're going to have to change our count each time or, or recalculate our count each time so i'm just going to copy this line here and just put it back in this loop All right, this should do it here. And there's obviously more elegant ways to do this, um, faster ways to do this, but this is like the most intuitive. And we'll see, so just pay attention to column G. We're gonna go to view, 
view macros and we're gonna run it there you go boom and say you want to get rid of all the blanks so you have a few blanks in here I can quickly just take the zero out and if I want to start up here say I want to get rid of all these rows as well anything in column G with a blank I can start here it's at 1 make I equal to 1 and it should delete all this it should delete this it should delete this row um, let's see it work boom and there you have it so um, make sure you like subscribe um, leave a comment with any questions or any topics you want me to cover next alright thanks